Hi everyone, this is Karen. So today I'm going to be putting together a really cute card from Lori Whitlock's SVG shop. It's a Father's Day toolbox card and I've already uploaded my image into Design Space. I'm just going to go and retrieve it. This is it right here. And when I bring it in to Design Space, it brings it in at exactly the right size. I have almost nothing to do, but I do want to change the scoring lines here so that the Explorer can score the lines for me. Um, and then I'm just going to attach some things and I'll be ready to go. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing I need to do is ungroup these pieces. And I've got the scoring lines over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select that square of scoring lines and I'm going to delete it. Now I'm just going to create my own score line by bringing in a shape. That's the score line right here that I need. And I'm going to need three pieces. The first one is right here. So I'm just going to drag that off to the side. And I also need, I need one horizontal and two verticals. So here's a vertical. I'm going to copy this and paste it twice so that I have three lines. And I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to take this line here and I'm going to rotate it. 90 degrees by typing 90 into the rotate field in the edit panel. So I can drag this over to my card and place it where it should be. And I'm just going to need to drag it out a little bit further to make it larger. I could have done that before I rotated it because it's a little bit easier to figure out but you need to find the sizing handle over here and drag that out until it's big enough to stretch across your card. Okay, so it needs to be just a little bit bigger. And if it goes past the lines, it doesn't matter because it will just score on the paper. So that's fine right there. Then I need to take these two and bring them down over here. There's the first one, and it goes beyond it a little bit, it doesn't matter. And I'll bring the second one over here, just to make sure that it lines up there. Then I'm going to select everything on this red piece, right click and attach, so that when I click go, all of those parts will stay together on that piece. I'm going to take away the Father's Day sentiment over here because I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use a stamp instead. So I'll just select the word and delete that and everything else is ready for me. So now I'm going to click Go. Design Space is going to set up all my mats for me and I can cut those out from the colors I want. I have cut lines and I have scoring lines. So I need to put my scoring blade in the machine I realize when I look at this that I've made a mistake. When I look at this mat with a black material, you can see that there's a scoring line right over here that I didn't remove. So I need to go back to my design and find where that is. So I'm going to click the X over here to close the mats and it will be on a black piece. So if I look at my layers, I can look at all the black pieces and you see here there's a scoring line that's to be cut. And if I click that, it shows me that scoring line is right over here. So I can delete this and I'm going to create one more scoring line. And I'm going to drag that over here. And again, I'm going to click the edit panel and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And then I can bring this scoring line over to here. I'll double check that it's the right size. It's fine. So that's good. I'm just going to make sure it's going across the whole piece. And I now need to select all of this. Whoops, I got the saw in there. <laughs> I'm going to select the whole black piece. Right click and attach. And then I'll click go to see if there's anything else that's a problem. The black pieces are fine. The red pieces. I'm going to be using some silver here. There's some yellow and there's white 
So there are no more scoring lines that need to be dealt with. They're all done and I can go ahead and cut my pieces. Now I'm going to put it all together for you while you listen to some music. this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.